Alright guys, now that you've seen the montage, I will explain this design a bit more and then I will show the Mark II version which is a bit more wobbly than uh, this one. Um, as you can see, it's long. <laughs> and I actually named it Ruler because that's the only thing I can think of that has a long measurement or something like that. I just said, that's the first thing that came in mind, Ruler, and that's it. Alright? <laughs> oh yeah, I had parachutes here as well. I did deploy them. I do remember deploying them, but it didn't really help in the montage part. Uh, why is this crooked? Uh, okay, it was it's still crooked, whatever. Anyway, um, originally this design was actually quite small. It wasn't this long. I had, as you can see, uh, I start from the smaller fuselages, and then I get bigger and bigger, and all the way down there, it gets to the final stage, the biggest the type of fuselage, which is this one here, MK3 fuselage. Oh yeah, you can still place it like that too. That's cool. I don't know if that's aerodynamic. If you shave it like that, is that more aerodynamic than having it just placed on top like that? I don't know. Anyway, so this design was smaller and I had from small to large and what I did was I wanted to lengthen it so I added all the engines because there are only three rocket engines which are these ones, the liquid fuel engines, only three connected to a tri-stack coupler Wait, yep. and what I did was I just added fuselages to the ready-made design kept on lengthening it it went longer and longer and you know with the wings that was a bit of a problem trying to place them but I figured out how to do it, you just predict where you're gonna put them and the game will automatically place them for you as you can see look you can place it like that and that's pretty far away too out the door <laughs> and as you can see the, the struts I simply used these small hard points right so a small hard point to another small hard point using a strut because if you have a strut to another object right Look at that. That doesn't look right. It doesn't even look like it's being held together. So I usually use these small hard points because that's a bit better. And I have this thing here. I think it's got to do with uh, pre preventing overheating. So radial engine body. Yeah. So th I think this will actually help out the engines down there. The three liquid fuel engines. I'm not sure. But probably. Because hmm. they do work with jets mm, quite well. Otherwise, they would have overheated, guaranteed. And I did use uh, cheats for this, and that's why I had it here, displayed. Oh, wait, if I ever do use cheats, it's always displayed. But this is pretty much the first time, or second time I've used cheats. Anyway, uh, yeah, a lot of these uh, wing connectors and stuff, they're very, they have a high lift rating. And that's why I actually placed a whole lot of them all the way down there. I was originally thinking of having like as you can see here it's a uh, triangular shape so I was thinking about continuing that all the way down that way but that would have guaranteed not work that would have never worked because we would have reached all the way down there right with an angle triangular angle and that would have been extremely hard to control wouldn't work as well so these sweep wings really do help because they have a very high lift rating, 1.6. I think that's the biggest lift rating you can have. Let me just check that. Uh, no, delta wing, even higher. All right, did not know that. Struts, I also put some struts on the bottom side. So I click the capsule and click Q twice and then I was able to place the small hard points there as well. As you can see, double sided, yep. Extra support and that works quite well. So I'll show you guys the Mark II version in a sec. Well here is the Mark II version the one without struts, that's the only difference. I don't really need, I'll turn off infinite fuel too because we don't need that much. We have heaps of fuel, it will last a while. And let's launch this thing. Alright, here it is. Very pretty. I think I found the glitch. Who knows? All right. So, it is taller than all those buildings there, which is cool. And I'll explain the problem as we go. 
Now it has no problem lifting up. La, 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 la. So uh, right now I'm holding S, and it will straighten up because as you can see, I've bent this part, but because it's like a snake, <laughs> yeah, you know that how snakes wobble around and turn stuff. Oh, fuck, stuff this unbreakable joints on. It's gonna wreck. Yeah. How the snakes turn and all that. This is pretty much the same concept here. And the. If I try and position this thing, aircraft, properly, so if I get Q or E, it works very well because I have a lot of. See, look at this. Unbreakable joints doesn't even work. <laughs> Didn't even get to the main part yet. Let's check this out. Will it survive? I can't control this because it doesn't have. Wait, can I control it? No. Can't control it. Because there's no uh, Kerman in there or Kerbal guy. That's the best way to identify them. What is this piece? Ah, here we are. This is going to be going for a long time. That damn glitch. Yeah. Wing glitch. No comment about that one. What? <laughs> what? Stabilize, please. Fall down. Alright, that's another wing glitch. What? I guess the breakwood joints do work. Okay, everything's splashed down. So I'll redo that. Look at this. That is weird. Guaranteed, because I'm fast forwarding right now. I think it's times two. But this is crazy. Oh yeah, and the parts survived. Look at that. That's too long. That's not even the whole thing. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Restart. Time is four right now. No improvement. Okay, that's an improvement. <laughs> What's that thing? Oh, I can't get to it. You kidding me? What? What? Didn't know you could get underneath here. What is that? Oh, that must be a planet. Yeah, let's fast forward now. Ooh, turn off the engine. My gosh, what's it doing now? Is this? Yeah, it's times four. <laughs> this is wacky. Okay, I'm gonna click spacebar. Deploy the parachute. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, <laughs> why are we going 11,418? <laughs> What the? Huh? What? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'm telling you, I'm not doing this. Alright, I'm gonna turn off unbreakable joints. Something. Huh? What? What in the world is going on? Have you created an orbit? With a. Where am I? Well, I zoom in, and there's meant to be an object right here. I'm still zooming in. Wait a second, I think I'm free to move anywhere. Wait, I'll fast forward. I am fast forwarding. I'll fast forward again. What? What? Why am I out here? Oh my gosh, what in the world is going on? I can't get to the, back to land. Just, oh. All right, we're just going to read this for a second. Yeah, so blah, 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 blah. All right, so that was the worst glitch I've ever seen. Ever. Wow, that's just weird. <laughs> and get out of that thing. Well, looks like we found a new feature for this aircraft. You can go 11,000 plus meters per second. <laughs> and if you used a glitch, I don't know how to replicate that. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, hope you like the ruler. Yeah, you should be able to see through this top part here on the capsule. But we can't for some reason. Because look, that's, that's meant to be glass, isn't it? Anyway, hope you liked it. Didn't really take me that long to create. Uh, I just had the random idea of doing this since I created the world's heaviest 
aircraft and the world's largest aircraft in the game the Antonov if you haven't seen it yet it's on my YouTube channel and yeah that's about it well that was quite interesting hope you like this design ruler I will include a down 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 link I just repeated that <laughs> yeah I'll include a download link uh, soon I will soon but thanks for watching and have a nice day.